big boxing match has finally happened. Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. We were debating talking about this, but I think the fight had like enough to take from it where we could make like a short enough video on it that people would be interested in. So let's get into it, man. What do you think of Jake Paul's performance first off? In the well, actually, before you say that, just like so people, in case they don't know, um, Tommy Fury did beat Jake Paul by a split decision, and that obviously is Jake Paul's first pro loss, and yeah, that's really all there is from like a housekeeping thing, so if you want to talk about the fight a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, I think for sure, you know, you were either, you were either on the side that was like, Jake Paul is going to get, you know, he's going to get flatlined, and he's going to like, you know, Tommy Fury, everything Tommy Fury was saying, basically, you were either on that side, or you were like, you know, Jake Paul, like he's gonna, she's gonna show that he can actually like box and like he's not, you know, he's not just some some stupid YouTube fraud, you know, coming and trying to pose as a professional boxer. Because in Tommy Fury's, Tommy Fury's right too. I think he had to, I think he had really had to show that he's like whether or not where he was an actual boxer too. And I'll just honestly, I'll just speak on both of their. Uh, their performances and outputs because i think they were really just like you know it was like it really took every this was a fight that really took two to tango i think and i think you know tommy fury was definitely the one trying to uh dictate the pace and all and rightfully so as well dictate a pace and uh just crowd drake test and, that uh, cardio yeah a little exactly bit. but um Jake, I think with Jake Paul, like I think you were, I think what I was expecting was like, okay, he's gonna load up that over that overhand right as which much as did. possible. <laughs> yeah, which he did, and it's gonna connect here and there, and it's gonna it's gonna whiff, and he's gonna he's gonna eat, you know, probably like Tommy's right hand in return. And I mean, honestly, I didn't even. It was more uh, the jab I was seeing from Tommy Fury than the right hand, which was actually uh, kind of surprising and impressive as well. I think Jake Paul was definitely ready for the right hand, but I think, um, yeah, it was, um, I think at first, at first there was, yeah, definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of hugging, a lot of hugging and stuff going on. It looked like it was just More looking like, yeah, like a glorified sparring session to start. And yeah. I think Jake was like really like trying to like get into like that, like trying zone, to I think, just like, him, I think. okay, like, yeah, like this isn't, you know, freaking Anderson's, you know, uh, Anderson Silva at you know the end of his career, or Tyron Woodley or Ben Askren, like this is a guy that okay, like this is a Fury brother, and he you know this guy like you know, he's you know he's had actual pro pro boxing fights, like all right, and then so yeah, I think from there, um, I think Jake's game plan was actually pretty good, even if it was like fairly poorly executed, just in the sense because Tommy Fury's like a more like polished pro boxer. And the fact that Jake like wanted to make it more of like a dog fight and bully him a little bit, I thought that that was kind of smart. But at the same time, the overhand rights and the jabs were so predictable. And the one thing that like I noticed throughout was that he just kept dipping his head as he threw. And then Tommy Fury, it seemed like midway through the fight, was starting to adjust and land uppercuts that were really starting to stun him. But Jake Paul, like for all the people who hate him, the kid, he can box pretty well. Like, he's clearly, like, a lower-level pro, as we just kind of saw. And, I, I'm like I said, I, I'm tired of people saying that these fights are rigged, too. I really just don't believe that. I don't, yeah, this one's an ad, no. Exactly. Like, if it was rigged, I think Jake Paul probably would have starched him in the last round when he dropped him there. <laughs> but that obviously did not happen. And I think that the announcers did a good job at making the fight seem closer than it really was. Because if you looked at all the stats, Tommy Fury, like you kind of mentioned with his volume, was just really outlanding him everywhere. Just, like, quick shots. He really just outboxed him. Like, that's what happened. Jake Paul tried to make it, like, ugly and hit him in the clinch a little bit. They got they both got points taken away. I thought the ref did a Yeah, horrible what the job. hell was that, dude? Yeah, I don't know what that ref was doing, dude. But at the same time, I thought that both guys proved something. Tommy Fury... I thought that there was more pressure on him coming in because Jake, yeah, at the end of the day, is a YouTuber. Like, exactly. He boxes, but at the end of the day, everybody sees him as a YouTuber. But Tommy Fury claims that he's a pro I boxer. Liked, yeah, so. I liked the anticipation building to this fight. I think there was, like, you know, there was definitely, like, a story, like, to follow. And 
it definitely like yeah i was definitely like you know looking forward to it and like all right man like i genuinely like like i was genuinely like torn like coming into today when the fight happened like man like yeah, i wasn't sure i either. think the pressure definitely on tommy fury like obviously i feel like he's the one with more to lose for sure and like you know obviously as well like i was just i was just on you know on the fence that like you know, I think he's got to dominate or else, like, he should not. I don't think he should feel... If he wants to really consider himself a true boxer, like, he probably shouldn't feel that satisfied with a, with a split decision victory that now Jake Paul has a rematch clause for, and which is probably going to happen again. I won't lie. I'm actually excited for that, though, because yeah. of how, like, good of a fight this one was. Like, they're clearly on the same yeah. level. Yeah, that's There what you matters. go. Yeah, that's what, that's what, I think that's definitely what needed to be, like, uh, revealed. That's why, that was really what the whole truth, the whole truth of, like, branding uh, they were going with was. I think just both of them, like, hey, like, this is actually more of, like, a pretty even fight than maybe some might think whether you're on jake paul's side and you think he's just all in tommy fury's head and all the pressure is getting to tommy fury and everything against him and he's jake's just gonna outclass you know just outclass him and probably you know the overhand right like we're saying to tommy's credit clearly it didn't work nah. because he boxed well from yeah. the jump and you got to give him credit for that because everybody like you said did think that Jake got in his head a little bit, and he proved yeah, that correct. it didn't work. So kudos to him for that. But at the same time, dude, that it was an interesting main event too, just because of all like the weird theatrics. Like, did you see when they gave the mic to like Logan, and he just started like talking shit to to Tommy Fury midway through? He's like, "Yo, Tommy, if you hear me, you're a bitch." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> oh, could, could you imagine like back in like the days like when we were kids and stuff like with like the big Mayweather fights or the big Pacquiao fights if they were like showed somebody who knows one of the two and they're like yeah man you're gonna get knocked the fuck out or just some crazy shit like that I love that boxing in, in some senses has turned into a little bit of a circus I like these guys cause like Jake Paul knows how to box I don't like the other crap when people don't know how to fight but at the same time, I thought this was a good showcase for both guys. I thought it was good experience for yeah. both of them, that's for sure. Yeah, and the buildup, and then now that, you know, it obviously culminated into the fight today, it, it got me even more, like, psyched for my fight, too. I was actually, like, really, like, just, you know, actually, like, trying to, like, study. Like, okay, like, let's actually, like, see. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> I gotta cut you off. If you're studying people, we need to get with, like, Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. Hey. Look, you know, I was watching Jake Paul. I was studying. <laughs> I was <laughs> Hey, what's oh, the fight God. that was on that was happening that I was interested in I watching? <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm that. actually gonna like, you know, I'm gonna actually gonna try and like pick this apart, pick this apart a little bit. And um, it was pretty. Yeah, no, it was actually really hard to in the start <laughs> with all the freaking, all the clinching and stuff. And um, you know, there would be, you know, just like yeah, like Tommy would give a jab and then Jake would freaking low with the overhand right he whatever. landed a couple of, and he landed a couple of good left hooks too he has a better left hook than people give him credit for but like people who don't know boxing that watch jake paul they think that he has no skills but there are some good qualities like he, they're both jake paul and tommy fury are both clearly like just young pro boxers like tommy's not his brother that's clear <laughs> And I think his brother would do terrible things to Jake Paul. But Tyson Fury has bigger fights on his hands with guys like you, sick, or maybe even Francis Ngannou. But yeah. I don't know, man. Exactly. I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to put myself in that mode. Because I knew coming in, like, hey, these two actually aren't as good as, like, you know, they think they are. And then, you know, maybe some outside casual might think they are. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was just, like, the the like the zone i was putting myself into and then yeah so then it happened and then like from there it was just like i mean yeah i really just came and went i mean that the knockdown from jake paul in the last round was it more timey furious like just slipping or because you know he got the knock he got credited with the knockdown he didn't but, step on his foot people were saying that he looked like he might have i don't think he did I thought, yeah i thought he landed it pretty clean yeah so, i mean it was a good fight like i said they're both they both seem perfectly equal, but I will say this, like, before we do go, I think there's, like, one key fundamental difference between Tommy Fury's fight and then your fight is that you're going to knock this motherfucker out. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I was 11. hoping to see, or maybe even, like, you know, 
like just some more maybe some more like blood and then them both just like really like going at it but it seemed yeah it definitely uh, at least to start they were definitely pretty like timid like waiting for one another to you know low you know throw that big shot and then really like get the but i mean credit to tommy fury he's the one who had to dictate the fight and that's what he did and he got you know he's the one who got his hand raised so yeah good for him can't wait for that rematch though like i never thought i'd say that with a jake paul fight but i really can't because i like good fights like it doesn't have to necessarily be like the craziest matchup but these guys are obviously going to be hyped up. Jake Paul, for what it's worth, he knows how to market. Like, MMA fans will hate us for this because most MMA fans despise the idea that Jake Paul could actually train boxing and get pretty good at it. But the kid knows how to market. I say kid, he's older than me. But <laughs> the uh, guy knows how to market. He's trained boxing for real for years now, and it's clearly starting to get pretty good. I mean, he lasted in there and took a guy like Tommy Fury, who's another young up-and-coming pro boxer, took him to a decision, didn't get his hand raised, but he has that rematch clause, like you said. So we don't know if he's going to use that right away or he maybe if he gets into MMA because we talked about his PFL deal, yeah. obviously. I think the rematch with Fury is probably going to be first. But no matter what the next move is, I'm intrigued to see it. The problem child will definitely be in our future. Yeah, whether I'm and hopefully like that, that and hopefully that time around we'll see the we'll see the KO, the KO finish from, from either guy. From either guy, okay. Yeah, from either guy. Yeah, I think it'll be a fun one, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. And uh, there's definitely some bigger boxing matches coming. Like I know uh, Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia got announced. <laughs> I saw. Yeah, 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 that too. Which was yeah, that was like I mean, kind of in a way like finally. Yeah. But also, like, you know, like, yes. Like, I'm excited you know, for that. Hopefully, like, it really does actually go through and both guys show make the walk. And I feel happen. like it'll happen. Yeah, it that's a, it's it one seems of the, legit. Exactly. I guess it's more on, it's more on Javante Davis's end, like, you know, where yeah. it's like you really got to wait to make see them make the walk first. But, yeah. yeah. I don't trust, like, any... Mayweather Associated promote promotion. Yeah, like, you can't. It's you weird. Can't. I, I, but I like that this fight's being made. It's good for boxing. Both these guys yeah. are going to market the fight Hell well. Hell of a test for Ranger. I mean, I saw, I was watching Ranger see his MMA hour interview too. And like, yeah, he was, he was really like, yeah, he looked like he was, had the right mentality and stuff. He was really like, he was definitely like 100% confident like it's going to happen. And um, so I yeah. don't doubt it on him. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. I think he wants that fight. And I think to uh, for Tank though, I do think Tank does want that fight. I think it's maybe the promoter that might be holding it back a little bit. But I truly believe that it's going to happen this time. So we got that to look forward to. Obviously, like we just said, we got Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury too at some point in the future, probably this year. So we'll talk about that when the time comes. But we'll see you guys then.